Okay, Earthies, we're out here again. I have my trusty assistant number two, my daughter Emery, who can barely reach this, but she's gonna make it happen. <laughs> so an, in our model situation, another change in discharges occurred. The discharge has gone up, so the stream was able to carry larger sediments for a little while, and it's gotten them all the way down to the mouth of a river, which is what we're modeling with the settling tube. I will zoom in in a little while and show you what's happening down there at the bottom, but we're gonna let another batch of sediments, it's the same mixture of sediments, same sizes, shapes, and everything, and just split the batch in two. We're gonna pour it in again and see what happens. You can use this one to do, real fast, Emery, dump it in fast. What's happening down here? The smaller ones, well. Well, Emery's making some observations. What do you notice, Emery? The smaller ones in the sand are taking longer because they're e they um, it's easier for them to float. I think that's what I think. Well, floating is a really specific. Well, not float but event. Like... So, but you're right. The smaller ones are taking longer, which is interesting. Because they're not as well. We don't know why. Head. We're just going to make that statement. We don't okay. know why yet. So you can use this for your drawing of what it actually looks like. Notice, make some, notice um, that we do have some kind of layering, some structure that's developed here. And we see the same pattern in each of the layers. Okay, We see the yellow stuff at the top. And like Emery said, that yellow is sand-sized particles. The pink was pebbles. And then I can see that one large pebble right here at the bottom. Okay? Maybe you notice some things about the shapes. And we still have that color, that yellow. I don't know that th there might have been some dye on the sand. It was some sand from a kit of some sort that is staining the water yellow. Um, but there is some materials. This stuff up here actually does float. This has a density less than water, so it is actually floating. We notice again that there are some things that are going up. They must have gotten trapped with the sediments pulled down, but their density is too low, so they're now that going upward. There we go. There's something stuck. Oh, there's some a pine needle or something. There's stuff sinking still. If we left this for a long period of time, it would eventually all settle and the tube would be clear and we'd see a buildup of other sediments on the top down here. You can slowly see some of them joining the other ones down at the bottom. And I could do this several times. Each time it rains, this happens um, to a river system and a delta. It's another layer. And in that layer, it has that structure just like we're noticing. Okay, so in the next, oh no, you're gonna draw what actually happened. And you guys have seen the videos now of what size, shape, and density do to settling rate. So you should have a pretty good idea of why this looks the way it does. But this is sorted by size, shape, and density. And it is layered. So running water does that. Get your legs out of there. Um, Running water has the ability to sort materials. It sorts it when it picks it up, because it has to be going a certain speed to pick up certain size sediments. And then when it sets it down, we've learned that it will set down the larger materials first. And we're seeing again here that the larger materials are getting to the bottom first. So it has this ability to sort it and make layering.